Mm -hmm. and, and do you think that that's really a tissue that you work and manipulate and that it makes a change on the pull of the muscle attachment systems or? Yeah, I, I, you know, that's a, that's a good question. And I, I think that uh, by and large, we're, we're probably understanding that the effect of those soft tissue techniques is much like our current explanation of what the effect of manipulation is. Meaning that historically, manipulation was described as having a biomechanical function. You know, we distracted the joints, we did this to the joints, we opened the joints, we closed the joints. And we know that that has no scientific merit anymore. The effect of manipulation is seen to be at a neurophysiological level. What it changes is everything from a perception of discomfort to probably resting state of muscle tension, which changes the perception of discomfort. The same thing, I think, is true with the, the fascial techniques. Um, whether we can take the connective tissue of the, of the iliotibial band that has the strongest muscle pulling on it, okay, and surgeons chose it on purpose because it had no extensibility to create anterior cruciate ligaments for people that had torn anterior cruciate ligaments, whether we can put our hands on that and make it longer probably is not the way to think about it. But I think the soft tissue techniques have the effect of changing that, and, and you know, uh, I think Peter had alluded to that a little bit in the, in the morning, changing that resting state of muscle tension, which affects then the tension of the connective tissue structure. So in other words, it's more logical to think, I'm just using the fascia lot as an example, that the tension on that tissue changes because of a change in the resting state of the vastus lateralis underneath it, the gluteus maximus pulling on it, tensor fascia lata, as opposed to we take that connective tissue and we do something and it used to be this long and now it's this long. I, I don't think that is as strong an argument as the neurophysiological influence of the muscles that are related to it affecting it. Does that help? Yeah, uh, yeah. Okay, great. Good question. Thank you.